Hi, I'm Dr. Incognito. In this video, we'll generate a Maclaurin series for e to the x, and we'll use it to integrate the famous Gaussian. So first, if you have a function f of x, then you can create a Maclaurin series for it. If you can figure out the coefficients c sub n, the formula for the coefficients, the nth derivative at the center, divided by n factorial. So if the function is f of x equals e to the x, then the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So all derivatives of e to the x are e to the x. And plugging in 0, e to the 0 is 1. So the numerator of our coefficients here is 1, and the denominator is n factorial. So we quickly get e to the x is the summation n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. Our coefficients being 1 over n factorial, there's e to the x. Uh, 0 factorial is 1, so this is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial, etc. And the interval of convergence of this series is uh, easily seen to be all real numbers using the ratio test. So this equation is valid for x between minus infinity and infinity. So our, our next goal then is to use this equation to integrate the famous Gaussian. That would be the function 1 over the square root of 2 pi e to the minus x squared over 2. This is a famous curve in probability and statistics. It's also known as the standard normal curve. The graph looks something like this. The bell-shaped curve. Or the standard normal curve. Probability and statistics is very important to integrate this function. So we're going to be interested in the integral of e to the minus x squared over 2 dx. Now, unfortunately, it's going to be very difficult for us to find an antiderivative of this function. So what we'll do is we'll use the power series. e to the minus x squared over 2 is equal to Using this formula and substituting minus x squared over 2 in for x, we get summation n equals 0 to infinity minus x squared over 2 quantity to the n over n factorial. And now if we clean that up, that's the summation n equals 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n, x to the 2n, and then 2 to the n and n factorial on the bottom. 2 to the n times n factorial. So there is a power series representation of e to the minus x squared over 2. So to integrate this then, to integrate this, the integral of e to the minus x squared over 2 dx can be computed by integrating the summation n equals 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n x to the 2n over 2 to the n times n factorial dx. We can integrate the series term by term, so this becomes the summation n equals 0 to infinity of the integral minus 1 to the n x to the 2n over 2 to the n times n factorial dx. Now this integral is easier than it looks. x is our variable, so minus 1 to the n, 2 to the n, and n factorial are all constants. So let me emphasize that by removing them from the integral side. We're just left with integral of x to the 2n dx. So this is now an easy integral, integral of a power function. Simply add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. 
So this is equal to the summation, n equals 0 to infinity, minus 1 to the n over 2 to the n times n factorial, times the integral here again is x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. And we'll throw in a plus c. So what we get is that the integral of e to the minus x squared over 2 dx is equal to the summation n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 2n plus 1 over 2 to the n times n factorial times 2n plus 1 plus c. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you for watching. All right, well, that was a little botched ending. <laughs>